Um, as I said, like it would be convenient if we had a third switch on our uh, inner pedal that would that would uh, handle um, uh, LED, and this is uh, where our triple pole uh, double throw comes in. All it is, we added an extra switch, and if you look at the the schematic here. There is absolutely no difference. Uh, the, I had this uh, diagram, uh, this this um, symbol for for trip, uh, triple pole double throw switch is a bit different. It just shows you that this is the same position. It's a bit easier to you know when you're right uh, making your own schematic. It's easier to know where things go if you know exactly <laughs> which position is is common. You know. Uh, for the switches. So this just means that this position effect is on, uh, effect out is connected to the output and also means that LED is connected. So you see here something that similar to what I did uh, with LEDs at the beginning of the video. So uh, when in, in engaged position LED is connected to the ground here, a cathode is uh, connected, Anode is, is on 9 volts through the uh, current limiting uh, resistor and it's working. You know, when you disengage the pedal, it goes to the second position here, bypassed effect, and also this disconnects the LED and LED stops uh, uh, illuminating. So now If, if you look at how to wire it up, it's very simple, right? If you observe the previous way of, of wiring it up, and now it's just the same thing. That's the, this is the easiest way I use this most often. Uh, and this is the third switch, just what I showed earlier, LED and ground, okay? Um, But one complexity comes uh, about from this is very easy. It is very easy to tell. Uh, you have two switches here. You have three by three here. So it's kind of a how do you wire this up? So uh, do you wire it up like this? Is this one switch? Is this one switch? It's kind of unclear. If I, I can make a guess based on DPDT, uh, that this is one switch, second switch, third switch. But let me see, you know, maybe if I look at, um, oops, that wasn't good. Um, if I look at the data sheet for the, for the switch, uh, there's some, you know, useful information here. Life cycle is really, it's decent 30,000 cycles. It's, it's actually good. Uh, I doubt it, it will last that long if you are kicking it around and then, you know, uh, jumping all over your pedal. But it is, uh, for example, this one is rated 10,000 cycles. So it's definitely, this one is, is more reliable, but you see the difference in the size. It, this one is way more robust, right? Uh, makes sense. Uh, and then I can have a look at here, and it says here, one, two, three. Okay, so in one position, one and two are connected, so these three switches, and in second position, two and three are connected. Two and three, two and three, two and three. Um, I don't know if you can see here, there's actually saying here one and three. So actually, This is one switch. This is the other switch. This is third switch. All right. Oh, exactly. What I was showing in my diagram there. One switch, other switch, third switch. You just need to turn it around the way <laughs> I have it in diagram and it's easy. Uh, but if you remember, if you turn it towards, like, just look at the diagram. 
you can you can see that the um, long side is uh, facing you and that's how I actually always wire it up I don't really I can't remember all, all the time how to do it and it is um, it is important to know that these switches are independent so you can actually uh, you don't need to wire them up uh, this way if I swap these two switches you see they, they will work exactly the same I have to keep jack out and jack in in the middle but I, I need to get this you know swap to the other side so you see here affecting jack in I just put it on this other side affecting jack in they're independent sometimes this is useful if you know depends on how you uh, are wiring up your pedal maybe you you have more space or something like that 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 it just uh more convenient to wire turn it around one or the other way and here you know i don't need to wire it up like this i can move this switch i can swap these two switches see here affecting jack in bypass affecting jack in bypass and you don't see this effect out jack out effect out jack out bypass so it, it's really exactly the same way uh, i just move this uh, slightly around um will i breadboard this oh, okay let's do this all right there's going to be lots of oh, lots of wires so what did we say let's see jack in Put my jack in so i can't really use this any longer which is a pity things are going to get messy now okay uh, okay so what are we doing jack i'll keep it like this okay jack in oh god uh jack out effect in here effect out we're just following okay i need to bypass it um Where are my other wires? Oh, there it goes. Bypassed. All I need to is now to connect LED. So let me just. Okay, let me do it like this. I need a resistor. Thought I had them here. Positive end. And ah, oh, this is tiring. Okay, so I need to be careful. Ground goes here. That that is easy.
and here I need to be careful LED negative side goes here not there this one is but this side is bypassed so I'm just gonna plug it in here okay is it on now it is on let's turn it off hey <laughs> Ah, there you have it. Looks like this looks crazy. Okay, and just for the fun of it, let me just do this other, uh, do it other way. To show you that it's still working. Let me just disengage. Just gonna move it next here oh god so this goes in i hope you can see this but like i doubt you can see this this is just a bit crazy This one fell off. Okay. I think I got it. I think something dropped off here. <laughs> I lost ground here. Okay. It's working. Okay. So I wasn't talking rubbish, right? Um, that's really it. Um, okay, so we, we can look into more complex uh, schemes now. Okay. So uh, this is, for example, uh, I got this from DIY. Uh, uh, stomp boxes I think um, uh, from from forum and these ones are you know different uh, switch wiring you know so uh, this one was exactly the one I uh, showed you before uh, in on the previous one um, so these are three extra uh, uh, ways to to connect the these uh, uh, switches so this one has input uh, effect in grounded when the pedal is disengaged the the input is grounded uh, of the of the effect uh, when pedal is disengaged when you have you have a uh, effect output grounded and you can also have both input and output grounded this is handy uh, in certain cases, I normally use this uh, this uh, scheme. This one is I find easiest. Again, I found it from the same uh, on the same forum. I'll, I'll put up the link uh, there. But um, what you have here, actually, I have it here. Let's see. You know, uh, and this is a really good forum to uh, go. And I just got it from here. There, there is, you know. Have a look at it. I'll, I'll, I'll provide a link to this. Um, I use this uh, scheme uh, along the other one, the, the simpler one. Uh, the the way this works is, you, you know, in if it's a, in one in in position here, effect in is uh, connected to ground as you can see here this part doesn't really matter because it's it's 
there's no connection here, and jack in and jack out are connected. So jack in, jack out, that's true bypass, uh, effect in is grounded. Okay. Um, in the other position, you have effect in, goes, and this is a bit more complicated. Effect in goes to this middle one. Middle one is connected. It, it's shorted here. So middle one goes to short jack in. So it's a bit round about way of going to jack in, but it, this, is the, this just means that input is connected to effect, and effect is, is you now uh, engaged. And this is standard jack out, effect out, so output of the effect goes out, and LED is connected to ground, so the, the LED is connected. Mm, the reason for this is, um, you know, when, when, when you look at the uh, effects, um, and again, this one from my earlier ones, uh, so I'm gonna, oops, what am I doing? Um, how do I do this? Um, there could be a small charge. There, these capacitors, in, uh, these coupling capacitors in the uh, input of the effect are not uh, perfect, so there might be some um, leakage on them, and there might be some uh, difference of uh, potential here accum accumulating. So it, instead of being at zero volts, which you would you know want and expect, it might be slightly above zero. So when uh, the effect is uh, connected, that difference in DC voltage has to uh, be you know it has to come down to zero and that happens quickly and uh, you hear a pop. Uh, I hope that makes sense. But uh, for that reason, lots of pedals include this kind of a uh, pull down or like bleeding uh, resistor, which kind of bleeds out that, that uh, leakage. So this stays at zero and helps with pop. And mm, sometimes that's not enough or, or some of the, for, for example, uh, fast phase doesn't have this, uh, 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 for example, some of the circuits don't don't have this, so uh, it is useful to keep this uh, wire to ground when bypassed, you know, and that way it might help with the uh, pop. You can see here. Um, you can go and and look at more uh, details, and you know, like smart people in me uh, wire up this way. Uh, Routinely and, and always, you know, so maybe that's the best way to do it. Um, anyway, <sighs> that's it. This was a mammoth one. Uh, I hope it didn't bore everybody to death by now, and you'll come back next time. So, till next time. <laughs>